Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer number one breakdown. I've watched this thing like 30 times at this point, so hit it. And first of all, that's a vibe right it. there, all right? Rockstar always kills the soundtracks. This is called Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty. I hope you already knew that, but if you didn't, you're now gonna have it on repeat just like I have. Let's back this up to the first shot here. So uh, this is, you know, your typical Miami sunset. You've got a lot of traffic happening here. We've got motorcycles, buses, uh, semi-trucks, flatbed trucks, cars towing trailers, all kinds of things going on. We've got uh, the city in the background here, a water treatment plant, and this is where we're gonna be heading next. The first scene, introduces us to our protagonist and she's in prison Lucia do you know why you're here bad luck I guess <laughs> I don't think it's bad luck but uh, yeah this is Lucia so she is our first ever female protagonist in a GTA game we've got two main ones this year it's Lucia and Jason we haven't seen Jason yet so we're gonna hold out for him but obviously she's an inmate here she's talking to her counselor we're hoping she's gonna be able to get out and we're gonna be able to start our adventure cue Miami baby what an intro what, what an opening shot is there anything we can see here we've got um like a skyrider here it, 919 why 69 when you can 919 919 I I'm assuming this is a club. They have like aerial billboards and stuff like this all the time when you're down there. So may maybe it's like a live or like an 11 or something like that. I'm not sure, but Man, welcome to Miami. We're not just getting into Miami proper. Downtown Miami, South Beach, the glitz and the glam. We are getting out into the boonies with the Everglades and the Gators and the Flamingos and everything else going on. We are going to be getting dirty. We've got South Beach here. Let's see if we can pick anything apart. A lot of Brazilian activity. <laughs> Look at dude in the corner taking photos for his girl. Yes, that's very Miami. One thing I will say that we're going to see in this trailer that I really love is they have captured social media to a T. Like all the live streams and the people like focusing on recording it versus helping or, or you know, solving problems and things. I've got to say the characters look incredible. These are NPCs just walking down the beach and look at how good these look, let alone the actual main characters that we've seen. So yeah, a lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of eye candy happening on this beach. We're just going to keep on going. BTN Delmar, that doesn't mean anything to me. Got these big cigarette boats here wondering if we're going to be doing any illicit businesses. Importing, exporting uh, goods and things definitely above board. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But uh, this is another thing. So this girl is standing up through the roof of a convertible and this guy's hanging out the window of his NSX taking photos of her. The vehicles are insane. So we've got a stanced candy apple green Chrysler 300 right here. Look at all the customization on that. Are we going to be able to go to Vice City Customs and, and do this to our cars? I certainly hope so. That is outrageous. Look at the livery on this one. We've got this donk over here with some 27s on it, and there's even a Cullinan up here, a Rolls Royce Cullinan in front of the Ducati looking thing. Dude, it just, the level of detail here is absolutely insane. Then we head to the club. We're making it rain on Monday, baby. We've got bottle service and all kinds of lap dances and things going on. Look at the level of detail in the chains and the tattoo. Look on his face. He's got acne scars on his face. Like it, the characters, the cars, the everything just looks so good. The next segment here, it doesn't look exactly right. And I'm not from Miami, so I could be wrong, but I think this is kind of like Venetian way and some of the Venetian islands, these little islands that sprout off to the left and right. Some of the you know richest people in the world live there. They're you know, 30, 40, 50, hundred million dollar islands. All the yachts come in and pull in there. Now, I kind of talked about this in my first reaction video, but this is where I really noticed some of the cars. So like, look, look at this Porsche here. This looks like a real 911. It doesn't look like, a you know, Rockstar likes to take real cars and, and kind of tweak them a little bit. So they look very, very close, but they're not quite there because they're not officially licensed or anything. But to be honest, this looks like a legitimate Porsche 911. Charger going by in the background. You've got the Cheetah here, the, the Ferrari. You've got an Aventador going by over there there you've got kind of like a, a Mercedes SUV hatchback thing looking here. like the cars in this game are going to be absolutely ridiculous it's one of the things I'm most excited for we've got some more clubbing this looks like the keys to me we can't be a hundred percent sure but looks like we've got you know shipping containers and yachts and stuff coming out here so it only makes sense float planes flying around so maybe we'll be able to drive down to Key West it's a pretty long drive in real life, but in game, I'm sure we could make it a little bit quicker. This is again, kind of what I was talking about, how good it captures 
just modern humanity and social media and stuff like you've got this chick who is up in this rooftop pool being all bougie she's got her nice necklaces on she's got her bougie swimsuit on and she's all done up and she you know she she you can tell she takes care of herself but she's really proud of herself right and then we get into some absolute chaos. We've got, I poppy, save some sugar baby for the rest of us. We've got a sugar daddy with a bunch of sugar babies on a yacht. We've got wildlife guys pulling gators out of pools. Stay alert, Vice City. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. We are twerking on cars, bro. What is happening? From have a vice day, someone call the Department of Transport on this dump truck, bro. We've got car meets happening at night. How sick would it be if you could meet up with your boys in GTA Online? and go to a car meet we've got a live stream from what looks like could be the car meet here uh going crazy zaza nugget says the best song out right now long time coming we really out here hey yo catch a vibe finna spin the block on this one this the shit bomb not sure what that means but dude, like all the live streams and stuff the, the the things that we're gonna get up to in the campaign is gonna be ridiculous I, I can't tell which one i'm more excited for we've got gators going in gas stations we've got a police raid here is there anything to be seen there you know we've got a couple guys in here that are running so obviously you know drugs and gang banging and things like that planet leonida man says usually got to hit the strip club to see jiggle like that for real <laughs> what in the florida is going on we've got road rage if you've ever driven in miami you know this is real only in leonida is a crotch grab and apology for bad driving we've got guys hanging out ghost riding the rip rip ruddy see you in heaven cuz and then we've got old men and G-strings watering the lawn. This pool right here, that's a staple of Backwoods, Florida. This captures every essence of Florida you possibly could. Everything from mud bogging to crazy old people to twerking to nightclubbing to, you know, pool parties up on rooftop pools. It's just like, it, it, it doesn't get any better. We've got crazy granny here. Neighborhood watch don't play around in Hamlet. She's got a couple of hammers just ready to throw down and her shower slippers, whatever those are. Parties out in the boonies. You can see people are like off-roading and stuff in the background here. So this is, again, just kind of a backwoods Florida party. I love that we have the parody happening here. We've we've got a lot happening off on the, the right as well. And just van, it, it cures emotions. Okay, excited to see all the, the things we have going on. This, I believe, is Jason. We've got kind of a Bonnie and Clyde thing going on here. Here. obviously we've got some cash we must have run a heist or stolen it from someone it doesn't look like we robbed the bank without him on a cash but we'll have to wait and see what happens uh no overturning zone cops arrest man who flipped his car after peewee's dine and dash so someone was trying to run from peewee's confession escrita and tinta my five years of spanish back in high school was a long time ago so we're we're gonna run this through uh okay so confession written in ink tattoo ink a tattoo on his neck gave him away it was the key to the conviction of a leonida man so this poor guy just you know you're not gonna get away with much if you're on camera if you're looking like that dirt bike gangs running the streets we've got dirt bike dirt bags cops fail to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing vice city there's a marathon, lean on a man sucked up and water spout demands the city buy him a new suit. All the little things, all the little billboards and stuff like that are gonna be so amazing. And again, I just love how they've captured social media. Look at these these two people, you know, filming it. it this is truly gonna feel like real life. Like being in this world is gonna feel like real life. We've got uh, High Rollers Mag, High Rollers Lifestyle. Looks like we've got super custom cars here, maybe doing some street racing and stuff like that robbing gas stations just look look at the detail though you can make out every item on the shelves the vodka the whiskey the the security camera up there all the the beer and everything like this it just it looks so good this looks real this looks like real footage the characters you can kind of tell they're video game characters but not really like the, the graphics look absolutely insane in this it's a trailer trust trust Again, they're going for kind of a Bonnie and Clyde, you know, duo, crime, couple, whatever you want to call it. 2025, we don't got to talk about that. Wish it was next year, but it's all right. It's hard to put into words how excited I am for this. I, I just like, I feel like it's it's captured life in its current state so well. It, it's it's captured Florida so well. The, the bougie, high rolling, high lifestyle, penthouse suites and yachts and things like that. Of course, we're going to have all that, but we're also going to have going out and getting dirty and mudding and, and you know, dealing with all the, the crazy Florida man stuff that happens and, and gators walking in gas stations and stuff like it. 
it just it looks so good i i absolutely cannot wait i mean i say that but I, the truth is i can wait like we've waited this long we've waited a decade since the release of gta 5 and i i'm okay with it i'm okay with waiting till 2025 seeing this has inspired so much confidence in me not that it was ever wavering i knew rockstar was going to do a good job but to actually see what they've been working on i'll wait as long as it takes you know what i want it to come out perfect exactly how they want it to and um it's it's gonna be amazing it's i i just i, I want to play it so let me know what you guys think down in the comments what was your favorite part of the trailer lot to, to unpack there a lot happening it looks so good miami is so alive the game just feels real and i can't wait to get my hands on it so thanks for watching guys peace out